to another video. Oh. Okay, I hope you all are doing well. Um, me and the wifey poo were on a mission. So the our dryer was squealing like a little piggy. And so I took it apart and upon inspection realized that the belt was old as shit and needed to be replaced. So I went ahead and did that and everything was kosher. And then to my surprise, it started squealing again like a little piggy pig. So yeah, it's still squealing. So I'm going to change out the uh, drum rollers because that could be the other issue. So we're on our way to Lowe's. Uh, gonna go pick those up and figured we'd take you guys along for the journey. We're on the trusty old 22 Yamaha MT-09. Yes, baby. I'm using this Insta360 helmet uh, mount thing and it mounts by running from the inside of your helmet like through the windscreen and out the bottom <clears throat> works great the only downside as far as like this helmet goes is that this helmet um, it prevents it from closing all the way for like the real seal so I get a bunch of wind in here but other than that it works pretty good I think on like the bell helmet and everything it'd probably be fine but on this new helmet it's not really the business but we'll make it work This freaking remote, man. This, uh, what do they call it? The GPS remote or a GPS live view. I don't know. I'll have to look. But this thing is freaking sick, man. Because, ow! I just got hit by a rock. Because uh, this thing, I'm able to, to, like, see if I'm still in frame and everything, which is huge. Because, Especially like right now, like the little thumb screws that they make or, you know, when you're mounting up GoPros and all that, like you'll tighten the shit out of them and they just, they still don't hold on, especially with high wind. It like pushes my camera back. So being able to glance at that, make sure I'm still recording, because that's another I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. Sorry, my wife was trying to communicate with me. It's the only downside. Ow! I don't have my card or any communication device on this helmet yet. So I'm not able to, like, communicate with her. They sell one specifically for this helmet. Um called the shockwave it's so like you don't really have to you don't really have to mount anything for a rock if you see this I'd love if you want to send me one I'll check it out anyways uh, yeah so I'll, I can't really communicate with her right now uh, I I don't know I could put my cardo on here but I really don't want to mount anything to this helmet I know it's dumb but I don't even want to wear this helmet, to be honest. It's so pretty. I'm afraid to mess it up. And I already see I got a giant ass bug on it, so I'm not too thrilled about that. But that's the name of the game, my friends. All right, and to be honest, I don't really know where I'm going. That was not fun. Yeah, it was. You loved it. It was only like 120. Hell no, don't ever. <laughs> uh, my, my, uh, uh, or whatever they 
Oh, baby. Uh, right on Redlands Boulevard, right? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, guys, just cruising with the lady. Uh, she's mad at me, kind of. She said she didn't have fun, but deep inside, I know she did. She's just, she's just getting used to the speed, you know? I mean, to be honest, though, I've never ridden on the back of a bike with someone, so I can only imagine how terrifying it is because, like, you have absolutely zero control of your life. I mean, you're putting 100% complete confidence in somebody else's ability. Not only that, but even if they're very skillful, like your boy, <laughs> um, anything can happen, you know? Cars pull out in front of you, all that good stuff, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't blame her, to be honest. Ow! My helmet! for talking shit and scratching my helmet all right guys we are here at the magical lows all right ladies and gents we have found our aisle it feels so weird to record in stores still not that keen to it right here honey this is our aisle so that's where we got our belt now, where did I see the rollers at? Imagine they don't have it. Oh, dude, I literally seen them. They're around here somewhere. Uh, but where? I know, I saw them too. Yeah, they were here. Where were we? Oh, you know what? Probably in one of these boxes, maybe. All right, guys. Well, I guess I was lying to myself. I didn't see it here. All right, so Lowe's didn't have what we needed, even though me and my wife swear that we seen it yesterday when we came and got the belt. So that kind of blows because we really thought they were going to have it. But I guess there's a appliance parts store or whatever down the street. So we're going to try that this way. And neither one of us know where we're going. Her Apple Watch isn't telling her where to go, so. It should be interesting. Really need a mount for my phone, man. All right, Business Center Drive. Stop squeezing my titties, woman. Look! Damn! Sick with it. Alright, here we are. Hopefully they have it. Well, I think I was a noob YouTuber and that was paused the whole time. I'll have to go see. But in case it was, we came to J&M Appliance and they had exactly what we needed for a pretty good price. So shout out to them. So now we are going to head home and install it and hope that it doesn't squeak. Because if it does... I'm throwing the whole damn thing outside. Because, yeah. It's always nice to work on your own stuff. Saves you a lot of money. And, I mean, most people would have called someone to do it and paid out the ass for something really simple that takes no time, no effort. I always, always recommend trying to do something yourself first. I mean, don't do it if you don't think you can. Because then you might just make things worse for yourself or more work, but... Ugh. 
hopefully you guys like this stuff let me know because normally i wouldn't really post something like this but who am i you know maybe you guys like this kind of stuff i don't know but yeah if you guys like this kind of stuff or you don't mind watching this kind of day in the life kind of stuff let me know but yeah guys i'm still fangirling over the fact that i got 10,000 of you little boogers watching me man it's freaking awesome thank you guys so much for watching the content supporting the channel uh it really means a lot to me and you know simple things go a long way you know you guys just liking the videos you know that goes a long way that being obviously helps a lot so yeah we're gonna try and do you know everything i know there's a lot of people especially now that are more into short form content so definitely be doing a lot of that and trying to get back into doing <coughs> excuse me full form content <laughs> oh god crosswind about knocked me on my booty all right you beautiful youtube watching internet people i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said let me know down below if you guys like this type of content or not uh, i'm you know like i've said to you guys a million times i only want to produce what you guys want to watch so let me know smash that like button if you guys like the video think about subscribing if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace